Hi, this is John with the Grape and Granary, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to run a test for malic acid in your wine. You'll want to make sure that your wine is through with malic acid fermentation before you're ready to bottle your wine. So this test kit will allow you to do that. So what I've got here is a Acuvin malic acid test kit. And the way that we're going to run the test is we have a couple small aspirator bulbs that will allow us to suck up a couple samples, and we'll put those on a small test strip, and we'll compare the color of the test strip with our package that will tell us how much malic acid is in our sample. So very straightforward, very simply, I've got two samples of wine here. One that has undergone malolactic fermentation for approximately eight months, and another one that has undergone malolactic fermentation for only one month. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our test strip, and I'm going to suck up a sample of our wine, or must, which this one has undergone malolactic fermentation for approximately one month. I'll grab a hold of my test strip, and I'm going to put a sample of this wine on the back of the test strip. You don't want to use the front of the test strip, which has the little circle. You actually want to put the sample on the back of the test strip. So I've sucked up one sample full of wine, and I'm going to put it on the back of the test strip, and I'm going to touch it, and then squeeze the bulb until everything is squeezed out onto the strip, and then we're going to let it sit for four minutes. Again, this is a sample where we uh, have uh, one month of male active fermentation. The other sample has undergone malolactic fermentation for eight months, and then we'll be able to compare the uh, results. So I'm going to go ahead and squeeze up a sample of the eight-month wine, and I'm going to squeeze that out on the back of our test strip. Again, not on the front where the little circle is, but on the back. So I'll squeeze out one drop completely onto the back of the test strip, and we'll flip it over, and then all we're going to do is wait for the sample to cure, and again, it's four minutes before we can actually take a reading, and you'll want to read the side that has a small dot on it. And that side will then compare to the chart that comes with the test kit. As you can see on the test kit, a color on the dark purple range is going to indicate we have a lot of malic acid present, so the wine has undergone very little or no malolactic fermentation. And then when we get to the point where we're getting a reading that's very light gray or almost white, then you can pretty much be guaranteed that all the malic acid has been uh, fermented out, so the wine has gone through malolactic fermentation, and that malic acid has been converted to lactic. So again, we wait four minutes, and then we will compare um, the color of our sample to our chart, and that will tell us whether or not our wine has undergone a successful malolactic fermentation. Okay, you can see here on our sample, the sample on the left that has undergone malolactic fermentation for approximately eight months, it's much lighter in color and approximates the 30 uh, milligrams per liter, and the sample that has only undergone malolactic fermentation for approximately one month is much darker and purple, and it matches a color more in the range of around 300 uh, milligrams per liter or parts per million of malic acid. So sample number um, eight months has undergone malolactic fermentation, and our second sample with one month of ML has more malolactic acid left to be converted.